What's up guys, I'm Nico of Cam Crunch, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to do uh, sort of an HDR look with your photos using Adobe Lightroom. Now if you guys know the traditional way of doing an HDR, you take multiple images uh, with different exposures of the same scene and then you merge those photos together to get the best exposed parts of each of the images in your final image. But you know, sometimes you take an image outdoors and you kind of wish you took multiple uh, exposures so that you can make an HDR. Uh, but you didn't because it was a spur of the moment thing. But you can sort of imitate that HDR look using Adobe Lightroom. Uh, now the concept is similar. We're going to bring back the detail in the highlights as well as in the shadows. Uh, so the, the sliders that we're going to use first are the highlights and the shadows. And for the sake of this video, I'm going to sort of exaggerate the effect just so that you can see what it's capable of doing. Of course, you can tone it down if you don't like a very dramatic HDR look and you don't, you know, you don't have to use this effect if you guys don't like HDRs. Uh, but I'm going to show it, you know, for for those of you who want to try it. So this is a photo, you know, it's just a street shot, I guess. It's just in the streets. Um, and we already have a nice dynamic range in this photo, but, you know, we can take it further. So we're going to darken the highlights because, you know, to get sh uh, details back from the highlights, you need to see, uh, it needs to be darker. And with the shadows, we're going to do the opposite and we're going to lighten the shadows and you can already see the difference that it made. So you have a lot less darker areas and of course a lot less white areas. The next thing we're going to do is tweak the exposure. I'm going to bring up the exposure a little bit, uh, add more contrast, maybe add more blacks. You know, of course, depending on the photo, you want to treat these sliders differently. Uh, also, before I you know, proceed, this was different in Lightroom 3. Uh, in Lightroom 3, the highlights and the shadows were uh, fill and shadows, I think. And those were more dramatic in what they did. Uh, the ones in Lightroom 4 are a little bit uh, more subtle and more, you know, uh, they treat the photo better. It's not just like, it, you know, the fill light doesn't just blow your blow out your whole image. So uh, with Lightroom 3, it's sort of different. Uh, but this is Lightroom 4 again, and there I tweak the contrast and the the exposure. And the third thing we're going to do is tweak the clarity. And what clarity does is in, it increases or decreases mid-range contrast. So that's like the gray parts. And by tweaking that, you'll really give the effect of sharpening your image. I'm going to pull that all the way to 100 again because I'm exaggerating the effect. You guys don't have to. Um, you know, just just move the slider as far as you want to. You don't have to pull them all the way. Uh, so there, let's look at the before and after. And you can see you already get that HDR look. And, you know, you can actually stop right there. It's, you know, it has that HDR look. You don't really see any black areas except for, like, maybe under this car, this, um, the shadow from this door and you know a few other black places but most of the black places have detail and so do the white areas. I'm going to take it further by giving it a darker look that you see in some HDRs and I'm going to do that with tone splitting. I'm going to make the highlights this yellow and then I'm going to make the shadows this dark blue. It sort of gives that cool dark look and you can see the before and the after. You see this darker look with some HDRs. You can also give it like a lighter look, uh, which you do also see in with some HDRs there. But I'm going to switch it black to the darker look because I think it fits the photo better. And then after that, you know, you can do the extra stuff. You can sharpen your image if you're not happy. But this is like plenty sharp, you know, maybe masks so that the sky doesn't really get affected too much. I don't know. And then um, effect, you might want to add a vignette or something. You don't really have to. Maybe pull it from the edges a little, soften it. And that's it. You know, I'm pretty happy with that photo. It has that HDR look. Again, it's kind of exaggerated, but you, you know, you see what I was doing. And you can, of course, make it more subtle if you want to. I'll show you the before and the after, just so that you can see the difference. Uh, you don't have to do the tone splitting if you don't like the cool dark look or if you don't like that, you know, that whole cross process look in general. You can just keep it the way it is. But, you know, I hope this 
this video helped you guys uh, for those of you that want to do this effect um, yeah that's it guys um, I hope this helped again uh, please subscribe if you haven't yet like the video favorite the video share the video because it really helps the channel grow and I'll see you guys in the next uh, Cam Crunch video peace